were to see that this house was divided and we could see from the voting numbers that the other side of the house did not have numbers the only person in the other side of the house that had number was victoria that was it at that point in time production what did they do they didn't they didn't do anything they didn't change the game they didn't they didn't introduce something what did they do they kept asking the other side questions they kept putting the they kept, they kept ostracizing the other side of the house with more they kept pushing them back into that corner and they they they, they orchestrated this divide between the house they watched it they watched it first time also let's look at what what, what happened during the season announcement like suj we discovered that was having conversations during diary sessions people were having conversations during shower why they already pred predicted the show these housemates they've known this show like the back of their hand they know what time to talk they know oh it's party time we don't want them to hear our conversations this conversation might be very boring or it might be very spicy and i might lose fans what do i do i speak about it during party time what do i do i speak about it during task so we find it that these housemates they know this game too much so there has to be something that's changes all across board there has to be something structural that changed that because i can i know that oh when somebody's going to die session this way and this how did i get this i got this from a chinway interview so when chinway had that expose that was writing out suj that suj was talking to other babes in the house right suj wanted to have a conversation with chinway but suj could not go until when somebody entered the diary room so this show we can only we can only get as much we can only be shown like, like eight things can happen at once but we can be shown at once so we depend on interactions eviction interviews and other things to understand and read the game properly so where i blame the audiences the audiences we are too we are too faith-centered we are too faith-centered i think that's one of the biggest things that we have to because bringing it back i remember the time that production actually tried to introduce some twist first when they evicted when they did that perry and perry and angels um finalist this thing people protested in the people went to protest because of the game so the audience are we ready for twist let's go to amaka amaka's evasion people people there was there was there was so much rancor over something like that and i was so surprised that is this not a game also people are too faith saying because a lot of people if they are once their faith get evicted they don't want to show again let's be honest a lot of people want to, let me say someone like oyinka was evicted nobody people don't want to show again nobody they feel like they are too connected to their faith and also let's look give an example that if somebody that is interesting is playing a game and it's going around people enjoy it but once it touches their faith like once the person plays the game and the, it, the will turns to their faith they start eating the person regardless of the input of the person regardless of the way the person has elev elevated the game and made the game interesting they start eating the person so the audience really really like that's why i give them like 35 percent because they 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 push the narrative they the money is mine. The money is mine. The money. What did what did Kelly Ray do in the house? Absolutely nothing. Victoria was mute for six weeks. She just had something to hold on to in the week six. But she stopped for Look, someone like Nelly and Anita should have been gone the very third week. What are we doing? What's Nelly and Anita? these babes? They they even the time I got fed up with them was that three weeks in a row, Ebuka tried for Nelly three weeks in a row. What did Nelly do? She crossed her leg the most amazing thing she did or mind-blowing thing that she did was after the expose that Suj slapped Oyeka's ass what did she do after the evasion show she went to Oxford like come on how do people still vote for that like how do you vote for somebody like that like are we not watching the show are we just are we just here so production carries the most blame because they need to do something about the voting system let us watch these people from monday to sunday at least if you are going to do a first week eviction let us watch them from monday to sunday and let me say sunday between 7 to 7 15 we vote i think that's fair enough between 7 to 7 15 we vote very fair and they should i don't know i don't think um i don't think this way of voting i don't understand i don't understand it i don't like it I don't think anybody should be buying votes. It's like it's just the corruption in Nigeria system. There should be a 
there should be in a normal system there should be a regulator that should be that should be against that why on the finale you're voting from sunday to friday that's madness that's really really crazy man but this is what we have become accustomed to and sometimes when people are used to something they resist change they resist change that's why i think that these days they are very very careful with tweets because they don't want to anger the audience and lose fans and stuff like that so that's all i have to say Thank you. Thank you so much, Speaker. It looks like I missed your submission, but a lot of people were impressed with it. I'm going to have to rewind and listen to it back. But thank Yeah, you. He, had a, he had a pretty good submission. He basically, <laughs> so I, I don't know if I get the math right, but he gave most of the blame to production, 40 to production, 35 to audience, and then the rest to, to the housemates. And he basically said that Kelly Ray didn't do shit on the show. Nelly and Anita, Nelly especially was... Um, I mean, given the opportunity to do more, and she didn't do anything on the show. And he also gave some examples, which I don't remember now. But I wanted to ask a question, quick question. Sorry, I know they're speakers, but I wanted to ask a quick question. Do you guys think it will be helpful for production to have, like, the one hour, one hour, 30 minute summaries that, like, a lot of shows like Love Island has? And I, do you guys think that will help um, with the audience? Do you, do you think it will help, like, kind of mm -hmm. mitigate this whole PR, bloggers? spreading their own lies i think that's a big issue do you, do you guys do you, think that that i mean help i think that? i think it's a good idea but the problem is i don't trust them they i will only trust them to do that if they can be brave production right. is weak and they protect housemates that they see well they protect some housemates and i think those kinds of cap cuts those edits will further protect those housemates because there will be people that won't watch the show. They will only watch those 90 minutes or whatever. And that's the end of it. Whilst the rest of us watching 24 hours will be marveling at what they think of the show because the two will be so misaligned. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I but I would rather watch it from production and watch a blogger intentionally. Yeah, and that for, for, for bloggers to be the main source of um, information. Chatting. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because you have people nobody's a lot of people don't watch the show 24 7 but there are like pages that they go to to watch the show and that person can then sort of design those videos and push who they want which i think that's insane for for to give bloggers that much power is sick to me mm. I, I think that's unacceptable Mm. So, I mean, I think that's, that's one of the issues that I have with the season. And we've seen it all seasons, but I think this season was one of the worst. And I think there has to be a way to mitigate that problem. Yeah, this season was one of the worst because the season was, this season featured housemates that were the most prepared ever. In terms of spend, in terms of coaching, in terms of every, you could literally see the housemates that were coached, right? You could see it. They just refused to play the game because they were so safe and they were sure that they were going to be on that show for a while. Ruby, go ahead, please. All right, good evening. No, 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 I can't miss another speaker. Ruby, can, can you me? please drop and come back? Because I can't hear you. All right. Can you, Ruby, if you can hear me, can you please drop and come back? Because I can't hear you. I, I, miss an, I missed a fire submission. I don't want to miss another one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's go what's going on with with uh, uh, spaces and why it's Maybe so I need damn to buggy. Message Elon Musk again, like we did for the last time about community. Um, uh, when I was getting in community jail, don't think I did not message Elon. I Musk. I messaged him so many times. I I, I helped because I haven't been in community jail since. <laughs> I was like, yo, what's going on? Why do I? I, I haven't been. I haven't been locked up since. <laughs> I want to. I also want to message that they should lock communities. I don't want people on the main tier to be seen. Yeah. Tents. So those people that stay lurking, they can be outside and stay outside. Um. So before Ruby comes back, let's just hear from Gogo. Gogo, please go ahead. Gogo Medusa. Hi. Hi. Okay. So, uh, firstly, I think I actually really like balance when it comes to this show. It's not really. Uh, I don't really like it when there are, when there are like too many strong personalities, right? Because it makes it makes the entire show too overwhelming. So it's okay to have like some personalities that are not too strong and some pers personalities that are very strong. I mean, it calls for balance, right? My issue mainly is with the voting process. I feel like the voting process um, makes the entire show uh sort of redundant yeah let me put it that way is it 
it clouds how the fans watch the show you know it all boils down to my my faith is this my faith is the strongest this and that yada 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 you can't have people speak on other people's faiths right because even when we say we want people to conspire we want people to like um speak you know let us hear how you are thinking about the game when we listen to these things we've had people that have done that when we listen to these things people don't see it from the game angle they see it from this person is speaking about my faith why should you say this you shouldn't be able to say this say for example tj is speaking on oika you know it comes from a place of why should he be speaking on oika you understand that kind of thing it doesn't come from what is coming from his head you know let me understand what is coming from his head from his head let me see how he's trying to read the game we need strong personalities just as much as we need like personalities that are not that strong but the old voting process just blows blows the lines half of the time so for me i think the housemates also have like a role to play when you have you're given a platform to like express yourself you don't go there to go and sleep you don't go there to go and eat you don't go there to go and you know snooze show yourself whether or not you are even like a very strong personality or not there it's not um police speaking that requires uh, f for people to know you you know there are other ways that you can express yourself yeah and that also takes me to the point that production also slacks a lot if you want to make up for the fact that you are bringing personalities that are not too strong you, you also have to like look for things that would make them come out of their shell because at the end of the day it's still that show and we're still watching and we need something to hold on to so let me use this season for instance tasks were like terrible zero out of ten sometimes when i'm not even watching the show to like you know listen to conversations and all of that you know i want to follow up on tasks and i want to know what's happening why are you starting tasks by 10 a.m like what was happening like, like 10 p.m what's happening people are not even interested these tasks are boring you know they're not even like things that would you know try as much as possible to like bring out people's personalities you know we're not having like um it's not everything it's not every game that has to be physical you don't have to like give physical tasks all the time give us something that can bring people that don't have like strong personalities or they are not really good at physical stuff give them something to like you know bring them out of their shell that kind of thing so tasks are boring if they're not doing tasks they are just there they are sleeping give us give them things to, to do give them things to like bring them out out of that boring space that they are trying so hard to be in so production also like ruined the show to an extent then the house missed themselves they played too safe you know because even if pr production is not trying something at least you yourself should be able to bring something to the table so for me it's part production part part housemates and let me see what else fans yeah fans i mean i feel like we're still not it's been 10 years but we're still not ripe you know for reality tv because at the end of the day this this whatever is happening in the house is just like the, uh, some sort of reflection of whatever is happening in in real life you understand we asked too much of these housemates we placed them on the pedestal that they are not asking to be placed on so i feel like we, we still need to like um rewire the way we think when it comes to like reality tv shows you understand these people are human beings they're not robots so don't re don't ask them of too much you understand and uh what else so yeah um when it comes to voting yeah i feel like i like the love island voting style you know if it's just one hour do your thing die on the line for the person that you like it's not the one that you buy a thousand ICs before you get into the house it's not the one that you already mount voting centers before you enter the house and you feel like when well, you know what i'm just going to hold on to that and you know i have people that will have my back before i go in so i think that's that also sorts of like um how i put it it also colors the way the show turns out at the end of the day because you know some people are just like they are relying on what they have outside and they're relying on fans but at the end of the day, I'm very fine with like having like balance, you know, if it's strong personalities, not so strong personalities, but I, but definitely not boring. Like this season, I feel like there was a balance, but at the end of the but I feel like the people that had strong personalities, they 
how will I put it? They, they also try to play safe because at some point when whatever they were doing, you know, as regards, you know, trying as much as possible to make the show interesting, I feel like he's sort of, they. I, I think they felt like he was getting like bad reception. So let me use TJ as an example. I'm, I'm not really, I, I don't really agree that Ibuka shouldn't have called him out on the tribalism um, comment. But I, I also agree that he shouldn't have said that thing he said about, um, was he Kelly? Yeah, I think Kelly and Osi or Ozi. Yeah. I don't think he should have um, put his game out there just like that. I feel like he should have allowed him to play his game, understandably so. But at the same time, if you're coming on the show and you feel like you are going to be a gamer, I feel like you should be able to chest whatever Ibuka throws at you because he's doing his job. So chest whatever it throws at you, you know, stand your ground, which is one thing I think, was it KJ? I think it was KJ, yeah, I think it was KJ during BBT, you know. Ebuka tried to, like, you know, rush them um, to, like, ruffle his feathers, feathers a bit. And, you know, he was able to, like, stand his ground and he did his thing. So if you think you want to be a gamer and you're going on that show to tell us that you're a gamer, I feel like you should be able to stand your ground, you know, chest whatever Ebuka throws at you because that's, that's his job. He's just there to, like, you know, ruffle your feathers a bit. So, yeah. Then with uh, Ben, comic relief, all those kind of things, balance, you see. It, it all calls for balance. Even Anita, Nelly, Suge, all of them, I think they were just comfortable. You understand? They were comfortable. I feel like that's their personality, for sure. But at the same time, they were comfortable. I feel like for Suge, for someone like Suge, if you have things that could like bring him out of his show, you know, if they had other activities, aside um tasks and all the all that rubbish that they used to do i feel like it maybe you would have come out of the show more but there was nothing you know even production should be able to like give them games then they should take all those stupid tennis and all those um uh, pool and all those things they should take it away if they don't have things to play with maybe they would maybe they would start talking to each other or they would find something else to do so yeah, so this I feel like this particular season it was more on the housemates and uh maybe say fifty fifty for like the housemates and the production. You understand? The housemates really wanted to play really safe for reasons best known to them. Maybe they, they had like brands to protect and all of that. They were scared. I mean nearly a thousand times kept saying, Oh, you know what, she can do this, she can do this, but she won't. You understand? And it's not even always conflict, you understand? It's not even always like verbal fights and all of that. It all boils down to the fact that let me hear what's what is going on in your head. I mean, you can't just keep saying, Oh, I'm not going to confront this person, I'm not going to say, Okay, don't